I got this at the paint store and they did not have to put any special color. This was the color Dabity Nabbit. What I should have done is I should have got two quart containers knowing that I'm hoping that I only have to do one quart total. But if I run barely short, I sure would have been happy to know that I had an extra quart with me. And then if I don't use the second quart, I can take it back to the store. But I didn't do that. All I got is a quart container. I had him, I believe he shook this up at the store. I'm not sure if he did or not. So I'm gonna gently stir this. It looks good. The bad thing about windy days is stuff just flies all over the place. I don't have a drop cloth. All I got is a plastic bag. So I'm trying to show you stuff on the fly that you have to buy paint drops and, and stuff like that to do your job. Heck no. So again, what was this called? A pro mint? Pro paint mint. Pro paint mint. We're gonna try that. So Joe, you've never seen anybody else try it before? I've never, out of all my years of, of watching subcontractor painters do projects, I've never seen anybody use a pro mitt. And I'm doing it from the back side because I don't want to, I don't want to mess up the front of this in case I ever need some more. I can at least read this later on down the road. I'm just going to start with a little bit, I think. I have to be careful with this see how this goes with this. I'm kind of anxious to try this. I'm not going to put on too much at first. I probably should put on more than that, but yeah. I can tell one thing, my hand's going to be slipping, sliding all over the place on this thing. Could you put one of your gloves inside? Yeah, maybe I could. You want me to get it for you? Uh, yeah. You can shut it off for a minute. I'm going to put a rubber glove on first, I think, because my hand's sliding around. I think that's a good idea. Okay? I'm going to try that. And this paint glove is a one-size-fits-all, apparently. This might give me a little bit more grip. Let's see. Okay have to make do. We should fit a little bit tighter and snugger. Wipe off some of the excess. I saw a little video of this on, on uh, YouTube and it was dripping all over the place. And that's what I'm going to try not to do. Okay. I don't know about this. I guess I can hang on to it down here and control it with my left hand as I put it on with my right hand. What How about, about a rubber band? What so, about that? Would that uh, help? This, a rubber band? This, I think this is working. What do you think? It looks good from here. Now see, I know I'm going to have to put on extra uh, because in some places I painted or I sanded all the way down to nothing. And so I'm just going to have to be mindful of that. So even if I had a rubber band here, I don't think it's going to hold up tight. If I pull it tight, I can kind of put it on there nicer. Bet you they don't show you that in the directions. Now I can just kind of get it on the tip and just use my hand as a paintbrush because on the video they were showing your go like that but it it rolls on you I don't like that I still like the idea of this okay okay so far so good so far so good I'm going to have to, I'm not going to worry about the very bottom. I'm going to have to do that with the paintbrush. I'll have to come back. 
main thing I want to do is get the body on here so it can start drying. And then if I have to touch it up in certain areas, I will. I was thinking maybe I could get by with one coat, but I don't think so. This looks like a two coat process for sure. Okay. Even if your paint says one, you know, a double cover or whatever, I guess that depends how much sanding you're going to do to the existing and all that. But if I didn't do it this way, and I have to do it with a little paintbrush or a little mini roller, and I don't think it would go on as quickly and as evenly. So, you know, all in all, I think this is going to be the ticket that I'm going to use for the whole project for the majority of the paint. Like that. This is a gloss paint. So it's going to dry glossy. So I'm just using my hand as a paintbrush. Just stroke it in there. Don't, don't roll it around. This is how they show you how to do it on the video. But see, then it, then it starts wiping off different places. So I'm kind of inclined to say, don't do it that way. Now I can get nice even strokes on here, just putting it on like this dab will do you and if I miss a few different little areas I don't get it 100% perfect then when I do the second coat that's gonna clean up any questionable areas okay hey see I told you you didn't have to be a painter to do this get yourself one of these little pro mitts how much did it cost uh, Good question. I think it was around ten dollars, wasn't it? No, no, no. How much? Um, based on the change that was given back, I think it was under five dollars. Under five dollars. I think it was four ninety-five with tax. Well, five dollars spent, I guess. Yeah, I think uh, it was. I think either four ninety-nine or four twenty-five or something like that with tax. So Joe, one question for you. You're not using the thumb portion of that, like not not really. Like, I guess I'd have to I'd have to really saturate this whole thing with the paint in the paint tray. According to the picture that you showed earlier yeah. on the package, it looked like it was a thumb and a right. You know, and alongside with the rest of the it's just if, if this existing paint was all one one layer without any sanding to have to be done or anything like that, maybe it would work better. I'll, I can try that in certain areas on the second coat. I think I've got more of a feel just going like that because this whole top end we had to sand yeah. off because it was all scratched up. You remember yeah. that? Yeah. Right see, down to the. I can see it from here. Some areas to the primer, if not uh, just the entire metal area of the rail. And as, if I'm going like this, I don't have as much control with how much paint I'm actually putting on to cover that stuff. You see what I mean? So maybe when I do the second coat, we'll see. We'll see. I'll keep going here for a little bit and tell you what other tips I might have for you. See, now I can, now I can look at it and see where I need to add a little bit. Use this as a paintbrush. Just kind of... Brush it on there and add some on. I'm liking that. Now notice it's not dripping like they did in that 30 second yeah. video we saw well, earlier. I think they had it saturated and, and especially uh, if you're doing stain, I could see it dripping. I could see it dripping. And either way you look at it, painting a handrail is, is tricky in itself. But I think this is going rather nicely. Once you put it on, there's only so far you can you can go before you go back. You want to just do the best you can to keep moving forward because this is starting to dry. You try to put some more on there, and I wouldn't recommend that. It starts dragging the existing paint, the paint that you just put on there, okay? Well, I'm going to keep going this way to get this job done. Yes, it's getting late in the afternoon. We thought we were going to be at this position about maybe two and a half, three hours ago, but we're not. And I'm going to keep going 
to get this first coat on and I'm hoping to get the second coat on still. Stick with me.